show you all how uh, you can deploy unikernels to Google Cloud using instance groups. Instance groups are pretty cool because they replicate pretty much everything that you would want from <coughs> Kubernetes. And so let's just go ahead and create an instance group right now. Um, you'll want to have one of these made to uh, to deploy your union kernels with. We'll just call it instance group one. Um, we'll keep it in one zone for now. I'm going to set it to US West 2 because I'm in the Bay Area and this is where we deploy most of our stuff anyways. Um, so you can do managed, you can do stateless, stateful, unmanaged, um, lots of good stuff here. Uh, we're gonna have to create a new instance template or you can see I've been deploying lots of these lately. Um, we can just use the existing one. Um, when you're starting out, this doesn't really matter because when we re redeploy the, uh, the unikernel, um, it'll, uh, you know, we, we create a new template. Um, we can say auto scale set to 60% uh, CPU utilization. I mean, you can get really fancy here, but this is just all the basics, right? Cooldown period of 60 instance, uh, 60. Number of instances, let's just set that to three so we can kind of see it in action. Although, you know, the other thing with unikernels is that um, they run a lot faster than normal Linux instances. So you might not actually need so many instances. Um, health check, you can put that on if you want. Go ahead and create. <clears throat> all right, so. This is going to create, and then it's going to spin up three instances. Um, I don't even know if the image is there yet uh, because it might be using another one. So let's take a look at the unikernel that I made. All right, so this is a very basic um, Go app. It's just listening on port 8080, uh, and uh, you know we've compiled it so we can kind of just test this out locally before we deploy it. All right. So pull up another window and you can see that it's listening for both IP uh, v4 and IPv6. If I can type. Okay, so that's working. Cool. Um, now we're going to go ahead and deploy this uh, image to Google Cloud. So we can do ops image create um, tgcp. Hopefully I don't show you anything sensitive here. <laughs> no uh, no uh, guarantees on that. Um, so we'll do this and then we give it the name, All right? All right, so what this will do is it's going to upload this uh, Go Unicurl image to the cloud and you can see that it started. Um, we can see that our instance group has been created. That's interesting that it found the image. I didn't know it would so there. So we have three unikernels running here in this instance group. If one of them, you know, goes down, it'll kind of spin up another one. Um, and, and you can see that, you know, it's using the EN template one, um, all this good stuff. So we'll wait for the image to create. And uh, I'm just going to pop into this other window and try to remind myself what the actual command is. I have most, most of this scripted, so I don't actually type in these commands all the time. All right, so our image has been created iGroup, um, right? Now let's go ahead and spin this up. Um, this is a new feature, so we just kind of overloaded the instance create command here. Um, but, uh, but let's go ahead and give it the name iGroup, um, like so. Pass it config, and then the deal here is we're going to specify the instance group. So the instance group name is in template. No, yeah, in instance group one is the name. In template one is the actual template name. And I'll show you the config again, just so you know what you're looking at. So this is somewhat sensitive, but not super sensitive. Um, this is project ID for Google Cloud. You don't need this for Amazon or anything. Uh, the region, uh, end zone, um, the bucket where we're going to temporarily store the image when we upload it. And then we specified that we want both uh, 80 and 443 open. And then this last one, this reboot on exit, this is something that I include every single time um, simply because if the server crashes for whatever reason, um, it'll just instantly reboot. Um, it's it's kind of a cool feature because like even if you're even if your VM's like crashing all the time, 
you know, uptime monitors won't even catch it because it boots up so fast. Uh, all right, so we have this. I I think this is all you need, so let's hit enter. Um, oh, so one thing I forgot to do was uh, specify the cloud, which is GCP. All right, so now you can see that we're creating the instance template. Um, which happened and now we're going to replace the instance to in, instance template into the instance group and so um, What this does is it says hey, uh, we, we have this new image because every time we upload a uh, Every time we do the deploy we're actually creating a new actual GCP image and then we're telling the template to, to go ahead and apply it All right, so done using it and then um, and, and and then the very last thing is, is that it updates the instance group to immediately recreate the instances and so, you know, you can see 181, 73.20, and 53.45. Um, those are all the IPs there. Let's just refresh. And then what will happen is it's, as you can see, it's updating right now as we speak. Um, and you can see down here is it's being recreated. Okay, so it finally is done as you can see all these IPs have changed. Um, go ahead and click into this just so you can kind of see the actual per instance view. Um, and then we can click on serial and such and there's our, there's our unikernel. So just a quick little video to show you uh, the instance group uh, stuff in action. It's pretty powerful. Like I said, this is basically a complete replacement for Kubernetes um, if you want to use unikernels. Till next time. Bye-bye.